The last bit of the jam, I'm just gonna pour it in. Hello, my beautiful natives. Welcome back to Native Eats. Today, I hope you've tuned in to see what we made with our beautiful mulberries that our friend, our Native Eats friend, went and picked for us right here in Florida. These are the mulberries that we showed you guys that we were going to make mulberry jam today, so that's exactly Mom, what see? we're going to do. Mom, can I make this jam? You can, because you can ask them to subscribe to our channel so that they can see all the recipes that are latest and greatest that we come up with and we upload them every week. So if you subscribe to our channel, you'll see all of our gluten-free, paleo-friendly, oftentimes, and keto-friendly. And we make so much really great natural food here. And if you hit the bell, you'll get the notifications of all the latest shows. Thank you, my little subscriber. Thank you, give me five. Yes. She did it. And by the way, if you guys wanna get all the ingredients for the recipe and make this, just hit the little um, arrow on your screen for the description and we have a convenient cart for you with all the ingredients that you'll need to make this recipe. We have our two or more cups of uh, mulberries and then I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla, this is optional, a little bit of gelatin and we're gonna put some lime, lime juice. You can use a lemon if you wish, just some kind of citrus and obviously the main ingredient, we're gonna need some sugar. So the first thing you wanna do is I'm gonna get these washed up. So I'll see you guys right back. We're gonna wash up these beautiful blueberries really well, pick any extra stems off and get these in the pan. I'll see you back back. All right, we're back and we got these all washed up and albeit I tried to de-stem them as good as I could, but you wanna go ahead and get the oven on, the stove top rather, and you can get it on sort of a medium. But she's just mashing these, my beautiful assistant. And this is really all you're gonna do for this step. And then we're gonna get this to a boil. And then I'll see you guys back in a minute once this comes to a little bit of a boil. And this is what you want it to look like. Just come up to a boil, get all the juices going. What I'm gonna do to this is I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup. What we're gonna do is we're going to take this lemon, lime rather, and you just juice it right in. So we're also going to just zest in um, our lime zest. Mm -hmm. If you like Emma, subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more of Emma. <laughs> now normally this recipe that I, for this amount of mulberries, I would put two cups of sugar. But because these mulberries were super sweet and Emma has suggested to, that I don't sweeten it too much, I'm gonna go one cup of sugar. Look, she even put less than a cup. And obviously she's sensitive to sweet. So this is also optional. I'm gonna put a bit, a little bit of vanilla, but I also like to use this kind of as a preservative. I'm just gonna put in about a teaspoon. Normally with jams, you use pectin. I am not gonna use any pectin in this jam because pectin actually lowers your ability to absorb beta carotene, I, I believe it is. Is it beta carotene? How is pectin bad for you? According to WebMD, pectin can reduce the body's ability to absorb beta carotene, an important nutrient. And pectin can also interfere with the body's ability to absorb certain drugs, including digoxin, lovastatin. So instead of using the pectin and not and lowering our ability to be able to um, absorb beta carotene, we're going to just use gelatin. And we're gonna let this cook for, you know, maybe about 30 minutes. You can let it um, boil as long as you want, but we're gonna go ahead and cut out and just let this boil for a little bit. And we'll see you guys back um, to see how it looks in about a half hour or so. And while you're waiting for this to boil up and coagulate, subscribe and hit the little post notification so you can get all the latest shows. All right, so we're back. It's been boiling for about 30, maybe 45 minutes. Um, I have chosen to, because you see how much uh, mulberry piece fragments pulp there are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add another quarter cup of water to that because I know that this is going to gel in the refrigerator. So really you could have put that, that half a cup in before you boiled. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the suggestion of my beautiful assistant earlier, and rather than you could just pour this right into the jar with all of this pulp. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her advice. I'm gonna try to get some of this juice in. This is jelly right here when without the pulp. So if we just wanted mulberry jelly, we would save this right here. The last bit of the jam, we're just gonna pour it in. We made jelly jam, and I'm just stirring it a little bit so that my nice juice mixture gets nice and blended. What's nice about it still being hot and putting the lid on while it's hot is that it's gonna go ahead and sort of like seal your jam. So if you were to give this to a friend or something, it would be better to fill it all the way up. And there you have it, homemade Florida mulberry jam. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and for more natural recipes, check us out and subscribe to our channel. And hit the little bell so you can receive post notifications. This has got to be the best jelly I've ever had.